Hello YouTube, Freddy Cardona here. Welcome back to another Fred Drives video. We're going to take Route 46 West in this episode. We're currently in Patterson, New Jersey. Getting on Route 21 South. Or can this be considered 20th? 20. Still McCarter Highway. I'm not sure. But anyway... We're gonna take 46 West. We're gonna we're gonna go past Clifton, Woodland Park, Totowa, Little Falls, Fairfield, Willowbrook Mall area. You get the picture. Wanted to thank all of my Fred subscribers for joining me on this journey. Grab your popcorn. Get comfortable there in the back seat as I drive you on Route 46 in New Jersey. For those of you who are not living in New Jersey or used to live in New Jersey, I hope this drive brings you a little bit of memory, memories as we go past some of the iconic locations there in Woodland Park, Route 46. Those of you may remember, we had a Caldor, a Passmark. Those are one of the first things that comes comes to mind this early in the morning. I haven't had any coffee. We have different accents, regional accents. Here in, in Jersey or New York, we say coffee. Other parts of the country, we say coffee. How do you pronounce it? Coffee or coffee? New Tremble auto body there on the left. We're going to go here in a little dip underneath this bridge here. This area here always floods during really bad rain. Not always, but it, it, it floods frequently when it rains really, really hard. Got a little footpath there on the right and left. A little sidewalk. Going under Main Ave Clifton. For those of you who are not subscribed, if you're new to my channel, thank you for visiting. I encourage you to check out some of my other videos here in the northern New Jersey area. My home base is Patterson, New Jersey. So I feature a lot of Patterson, New Jersey videos. Here on the right, we'll be going past the school. What's that? That's middle school there on the right. Going past Day Street. We got some stores there on the left. Some buildings on the right. Did I just pass it and I didn't see the sign or the name of the building? Got a Burger King there on the left hand side. This stretch of road of 46 West is a very iconic stretch. It connects a lot of your western Jersey locations to the eastern locations here in New Jersey. We got a dress barn, or used to be a dress barn, in wine country there on the left. So yeah, if you're visiting, welcome. I feature a lot of driving tours all over New Jersey. I feature a lot of Patterson, New Jersey based videos as well on my channel. You got old Lori there waving majestically. Love to see that. Got some self storage there on the right. There are times that I will add commentary to my driving videos and there are times that I don't. Some of you have asked uh, why no commentary when I play only music. There are times that I drive somewhere, not specifically to record for YouTube, but I drive somewhere. And I look back and I, I think to myself, self, that was a pretty awesome drive there showing some locations. How about adding it to your channel? But since I'm probably in conversation with Mrs. Cardona when I'm doing regular drives, 
nobody wants to hear those conversations so I in post production will put music over over the uh, video so I have been told by some folks that they enjoy the music we have a, a another strip mall here to the right with a Dollar Tree as the main and the big lots and some other stores so a lot of some folks have told me that they enjoy the driving videos with the music and what they do is they add it to a playlist all of the driving videos that have music and they play it in the background as they're working at, at as they're at, at their jobs or doing stuff around the house they listen to the music kind of like a radio station type of thing if that makes sense going past a Boston market right there on the right hand side exit to St. Philip Drive now of course we all know Route 3 intersects in this area as well this is all new construction here by the way let's get off of this lane get out of this lane Got a McDonald's on the left. We just went past, we, we drove through Clifton, <clears throat> the Great Notch Inn here on the right, another iconic spot. For those of you that are from Clifton, and graduated from Clifton in the year 2008. Be on the lookout, stay tuned to my channel. You guys had a video yearbook done for your graduating class. I have a copy of that video and I'm um, uploading it to YouTube for those who graduated in 2008. If you know anyone who graduated in 2008 from Clifton High School, share this video with them. Let them know it's coming up. The problem is, when that video was made back in 2008, it was made with a lot of commercial music. And even when some of the graduates were speaking into the microphone, there was commercial music in the background. So YouTube muted almost all that, all that video. So I added it. And in post-production, I took the original audio out, so I apologize about that, about that, but I had to do it. I apologize for that. On the west here, you've got the Park West Diner, I mean on the right. And this is where Caldor used to be. And, and the Pathmark. So the video was uploaded using my licensed music so that you will be able to at least enjoy the video. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to upload it and no one would be able to see it. So stay tuned for that. It's a two and a half hour video and it's all music. So you can add that to your radio playlist and listen to music as you go through your day. You've got the Holiday Inn. Well, this used to be the Holiday Inn. It's now called the Wyndham Gardens. Wyndham. I don't think you pronounce the H, right? Wyndham, not Wyndham. Let us know your memories along this drive here on 46. Foreman Mills there on the right. Let's see, TJ Maxx, DXL, Men's Apparel, Blinds to Go, Home of Bagels. Marshalls there on the right, Hobby Lobby. A lot of these stores are closing down. Total Wine on the right. Applebee's also there on the right. Harmon Cosmetic Health and Beauty Care on the right. That looks like it's closed. Let's see what's happening in the news. Discover, this is Daniel. A commercial is happening on the news. PC Richards there on the right.
bear left to stay on 46. The car behind me is driving really fast. Came up right to my bumper. Also, be on the lookout on my channel. I'm going to be uploading a compilation of really bad car crashes. Some of you may think, why in the world would you want to do that? And I don't know about many of you, but when I come across these videos, I will admit that I will be a little bit more careful. I will be a little bit more careful when I'm driving, which I always try to be careful anyway. But after watching one of those videos, I'm actually even more careful. I make sure I stay within the speed limit. I don't crowd the car that's in front of me. I don't tailgate. I don't turn lanes in a crazy manner. I make sure that there's no cars coming when I do a lane change as we go past the Willowbrook Mall on the left. Why did I say mall? <laughs> Willowbrook Mall, not mall. I think I'm developing a different regional accent. Maybe the Midwest? I don't know. Entering the township of Fairfield. We're on our way to Parsippany. Be on the lookout also for a Parsippany driving tour pretty soon. La Quinta Inn and Suites on the right. And Jose Tejas on the right. I forgot what was here on the left. I mean on the right. On the left we have a Target. So yeah, stay tuned for that car crash compilation. I'm not sure when it's going to be uploaded. So make sure you are subscribed and you have the notifications on so that you'll be advised when I upload. As we drive through Fairfield. right at exit 72 route 46 so everyone has to go over to the express lanes i'm sue aller next report at 1021 1010 winds on 923 fm now the accurate the four-day forecast with meteorologist matt bent and out the door here for today plenty of sunshine after some icy spots here earlier this morning hopefully the warmer temperatures will begin to take care of that ice here for the rest of today and winds gradually diminishing here through this afternoon our high today up to 48 real field temperatures so mostly in the 30s tonight clear chilly low 35 tomorrow still on the breezy side especially along the coast otherwise plenty of sunshine with a high 54 rarely cloudy skies into tuesday that could promote some drizzle out on long island with a high 51 and for wednesday mainly cloudy couple showers more importantly trending much warmer for wednesday with a high near 60. currently 35 degrees in central park with a mainly sunny sky repeating the current temperatures 35 heading up to 48 this afternoon in midtown a meteorologist matt fence on new york's weather station 10 10 winds on 92 3 fm today is a day of morning in Russia. Officials there say they have arrested 11 people in Friday's terror attack at a Moscow concert hall that left more than 130 people dead. Russian state TV airing videos, which ABC News has not independently verified, claiming they show one of the alleged attackers being detained by the FSB. The man telling officers he carried out the attack for money. State media also airing video claiming to show another man accused of being an attacker bleeding badly. ABC News has not been able to verify the video. Yeah, so many of you know that for about a year now, I've been uploading driving in the news videos and the purpose of that playlist is to record our history. I feel it's important to record and document our local history in this area. And a lot of people will say, yeah, you can get all these news stories online for the future, it's true. But some of those local news stories will be lost to history. You know, things that occurred in your neighborhood, you know, say, I don't know, a grand opening of some store in your neighborhood or, you know, sadly, a lot of the news is, is not good news because that's not what sells. But I still feel it's important to document history. And I did that driving to work. The problem is my in, my cellular service for some reason doesn't work 
in my office. So when I get to work, I won't be able to upload the driving in the news video during the day. So you lose out the entire day and then you don't get to see it until the afternoon. So I may still continue doing that. We'll see. Let me know if you're still interested in, in checking out those the driving in the news videos on my commute to work. Because I could drive I could film it on my way to work and then upload it when I get home on my Wi-Fi that afternoon. So let me know what you think. Montvale Township, open for business. There used to be a junkyard around here somewhere, if I remember correctly. I remember back a few moons ago, when you had a, a car in your teenage years and you needed a part for your car, we would come over here, look, we would, we would go there and then they would let us go in and look for our model car and we can buy parts. Shamrock Shake is back. Woohoo! Gotta get me one of those. Right, we're about 18 minutes in at the Burlington. Oh, they've moved. They're not there anymore. Oh, we've moved next door. Oh, I see. I hope we're in Parsippany now because the thumbnail does say from Clifton to Parsippany. And if I am not in Parsippany, I apologize. So we're going past the Pine Brook Plaza here on 46 West. I will be at one point doing a Pine Brook video. It has been requested. It's on my list, I promise. Cube Smart Self Storage there on the left. Jay Sean Indian Restaurant on the right. I hope I pronounced that correctly. And this is the Parsippany Shopping Plaza. So we're going to end the video here, are we? Yes. Let me show you this part here. We have Tech Toys, Tight Lines Fly Fishing, Taekwondo. High level learning center. We have some cleaners. Salon de Butte. It's a Butte, Clark. It's a Butte. That was a Christmas vacation reference. Sultan Bakery and Supermarket. Tropical Hut, Philippine Cuisine on the right. And floor, ABB Floors and Windows. And TGC Toys and Gifts Garden Shop. Ooh, that sounds interesting. All right, guys, we're going to end it right here want to thank you for watching if you're a visitor to the channel I thank you for visiting check out some of my videos see if you're interested in subscribing and being part of the Fred Scriber ATF community and for those of you who are subscribed thank you thank you thank you I appreciate your view your loyal viewership I appreciate that you are a Fred Scriber and an ATF agent all things Fred 
and guys, we'll see you on the next video.